Guys, am I crazy? I just made videos about the best roller coaster in every US state and every country, and then ranked all 50 states by coaster collection, and just before that had a series where I ranked every coaster manufacturer and gave my thoughts on best and worst coaster for each. I should be tired, I really should, but instead of a little bit of a break, I'm coming at you guys today by ranking the top 25 countries in the world by their coaster lineup. Literally, I am taking so many things into account here. Coasters big and small, quantity, quality most importantly, all of these things will play a huge role in this countdown video. It is funny though, this is another one of those videos that no one else attempts for a reason, but regardless, I tried my best to rank these countries up against each other, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Of course, before we dive in, I have to ask of you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as it seriously motivates me and works against the YouTube algorithm. Now, I think I've said everything I need to say. Without further ado, here are the top 25 countries countries in the world for roller coasters. Number 25, South Africa. Coming in at 25 is the only country in Africa that found its way on this list. South Africa has a rather tiny quantity of just 10 coasters, but the vast majority of these rides are fairly impressive in their own unique ways. The coasters here that particularly stand out are Anaconda and Tower of Terror, the two signature attractions at the nation's most prominent amusement park, Gold Reef City, and as well as that, the Schwarzkopf Shuttle Loop in the same park and Schwarzkopf Looping Coaster at Rancho Park, which is a clone of Scorpion over at Busch Gardens, Tampa. This top four is more than what I'd ever expect out of a country in Africa, so in my opinion, it's well deserving of a spot on this list, even if it's a low spot. Number 24, Brazil. Similar to South Africa, Brazil is the only country in South America to clock in on this list. While the quality here is a bit worse than South Africa for sure, I'd say the quantity more than makes up for it. For being such a large country, it makes sense to have close to 90 operating roller coasters, but there still isn't a ton of amazing rides here or anything. Really, all they have is one of the best SLCs in the world, a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop, a massive but rough wooden coaster, and a couple of Vacoma loopers. In 2021, they will open up an Intamin 10 inversion coaster and Vacoma giant inverted boomerang, which not only will be the country's two best coasters ever, but it'll also probably be enough to put this country a spot higher. Brazil definitely isn't excellent for coasters, but it's notable enough to make this list, I'd say so for sure. Number 23, Taiwan. I know some might argue that this isn't even a country, but the UN considers it one, so that's good enough for me. To be honest, I was really surprised when I first heard about Taiwan's best roller coasters. It's such a tiny country, and because of that, I wasn't exactly expecting a whole lot. Here, you can find the world's only Vacoma Tilt Coaster, the world's only Vacoma Big Air Coaster, an Intimate Impulse Coaster, and two fantastic B&Ms. Collectively, this is a pretty good top 5 considering my expectations, so that's why Taiwan is coming in at the number 23 spot. Number 22, Vietnam. Like Taiwan, I was rather surprised that Vietnam had such a solid coaster lineup. On the surface, it may not seem like much, but when you consider their quantity of 75 coasters and quality of Wrath of Zoos, Dragon's Run, and countless mountain coasters, it's actually rather impressive. Also, there's a pretty decent supporting cast here as well. A lot of the family coasters here are upper quality family rides, and I'm not just talking about the Alpine coasters. I'm also talking about the Vacoma family inverted coasters and intimate family launch coasters also. All things considered, I was impressed by Vietnam's lineup, and I'd say it's a country now on my radar to visit before I die. Number 21, Finland. Right off the bat, I have to say that the quantity of coasters here pales in comparison to Vietnam, as there are only 24 of them in the entire country. But where it lacks in that aspect, it more than makes a foreign ride quality. I mean, just look at Taiga, for example. That's already such a good look right off the bat. But there's also Junker, which looks fantastic, and Thunderbird looks fun too. Plus, the various thrilling supporting coasters help significantly. And as a whole, I think Finland definitely deserves a spot on this list for simply having a pretty quality-oriented collection of coasters. Number 20, Mexico. If I had made this list several years ago when Chimera was still around, I'd probably given it a bit of a higher spot as it sits right now, but I just couldn't find it in me to push it upwards. Don't get me wrong though, there are some great rides here. Medusa Steel Coaster is just elite, Superman El Ultimo Escape is an outstanding runner-up, and Bullet Coaster in Guadalajara and Zombie Ride in Monterey are fantastic also. Unfortunately, the lineup really dies down after this, but with that fantastic top four and rock-solid quantity of 56 coasters, I think Mexico definitely deserves a spot. Number 19, Australia. The only country on this list situated in Oceania is Australia. Honestly, a couple years back, I'm not even sure Australia would have found its way on this list, but since 2016 especially, the collection has skyrocketed in quality. It's honestly pretty ridiculous. Since that year, the nation has built DC Rivals, Leviathan, Steel Typhon, Big Dipper, and many, many more. And just before this, rides like Abyss at Adventure World were being constructed as well. That's really, really impressive, and I'm glad Australia has been able to put themselves on the map for coaster enthusiasts. Today, many coaster nerds like myself are dreaming of riding some of the incredible coasters in this country, and you couldn't have exactly said that a decade ago. 
Number 18, Denmark. It was a really tough call between Australia and Denmark, but where this country matches Australia in quality, it also surpasses them in quantity. With 45 operating roller coasters, it's a bit lacking in elite coasters, but in the caliber of rides just before that, there's a lot to choose from. Of course, Puritan at Jur Summerland actually does fall into the elite tier, but otherwise, Tornado, Linnet, Falcon, Damonen, Juvelin, and several others make for an incredible supporting cast. Primarily because of that, I'm giving this beautiful nation the slight edge over Australia in this list. Number 17, Russia. Guys, Russia's lineup is so underrated and it just doesn't get the attention it deserves at all. First of all, this massive country is close to 200 roller coasters, which makes almost every other country in this video look like a joke quantity wise. That said, quantity is not the only reason Russia ranks so high. It definitely helps, but mostly I'm looking at Shred the Sewers, the two blue fire clones, the Intimate 10 Inversion Coaster, Giant Inverted Boomerang, and a new for 2020 Intimate Accelerator. These are all fantastic attractions and none of them, yes, none of them receive attention from coaches or enthusiasts. Granted, not many have ridden these since they're all the way in Russia, but come on guys, Shred the Sewers in particular just looks amazing, and I think Russia's collection as a whole is slept on so hard. Number 16, South Korea. While South Korea's quantity pales in comparison to Russia's, the quality here is something not to be missed. There are several coasters in this country that I would travel a far distance to ride because either they are incredible rides or they are super unique or maybe they're both. Watch this, I'm going to tell you guys why South Korea deserves this spot in literally one word. Ready for this? T-Express. In all seriousness, there's more to the nation's lineup than just that. Atlantis Adventure looks like one of the more enjoyable family coasters on the entire earth. The two massive B&Ms at Jeonju World are very notable as well, and the new for 2021 Blue Fire and Power Splash clones will help this country out also. Altogether, this is a really respectable lineup, and while I know I didn't touch on this really, the decent supporting cast combined with the utmost quality attractions is why I'm deciding to put South Korea just above Russia on this list. Number 15, Canada. My northern neighbor of Canada is a country that I've actually ridden roller coasters in, what a surprise. In reality, Canada is very close to Korea in terms of quantity, but in my opinion, is slightly better quality-wise. Leviathan, Behemoth, and Yukon Striker are fantastic rides, Coaster at Playland is excellent, Mindbender at Galaxyland is insane, and the B&Ms at Laron help considerably also. As well as this, there's also a superior supporting cast to Korea's with some fun wooden coasters, unique aero loopers, and several other fun family rides. Overall, I can't wait to check out some more of the parks and coasters in this country because talking about this lineup really makes me eager to do so. Number 14, Belgium. Prior to this year, Belgium would have been a few spots lower, but they're having such a huge year in 2021 for new roller coasters that I just had to show them some love in this video. Opening soon is Conda at Wallaby, Belgium, which could end up being one of the best rides on Earth, and Ride to Happiness at Plopsaland, which might actually be the new best spinning coaster on Earth. These two rides are virtually complete and will absolutely become the country's two best coasters ever. Away from that, they have some other great attractions here like Fury, Anubis, Heidi the Ride, and so much more. This is a collection of coasters that definitely deserves more positive attention for what it's worth, and I think come summertime this will be achieved successfully. Number 13, Sweden. For how high on this list Sweden clocks in at, it may be surprising that their quantity sits at just 34 roller coasters. That really isn't a lot, but what's so great about Sweden's collection is that it's so much more about quality. Obviously, we all know about Wildfire at Kolmarden, one of the best wooden coasters in the world, but also Helix and Balder at Liseberg are incredible looking attractions also. To complement this top three, rides like Valkyria, Monster, Twister, Insane, and Jetline make for an extremely solid supporting cast. Again, I know quantity isn't on Sweden's side here, but quality sure is, which is why it's coming in at the number 13 spot. Number 12, Turkey. I had a pretty tough time deciding between Turkey and Sweden, but I ultimately decided on Turkey, and here's why. If you take away Wildfire, the quality of these two lineups are about on par with one another, and we'll get into that in a second. On the other hand, Turkey has 127 operating roller coasters compared to Sweden's 34, which is unbelievably significant. Back to the quality, however, the top three easily is Hypercoaster at Land of Legends, which looks incredible, Redfire at VSC, which also looks incredible, and Nefiskis at Isfambul, which has a short but sweet layout with a mesmerizing setting and environment. There's also the 17 roller coasters at Wonderland Eurasia that are currently standing but not operating but I'd highly suspect that those rides will be running someday, even if it's a half decade from now. Regardless, Turkey's lineup is underrated, and I find that reason to be plain and simple. Number 11, United Arab Emirates. Not too far away from Turkey, the UAE has a quantity significantly under Turkey's at 52, but it's still more than Sweden's, and it's a decent amount all around. Where the UAE mostly shines, in my opinion, is in the supporting collection. They don't really have many elite coasters here, but there are some incredibly substantial rides like Formula Rosa, Flying Aces, and the new for 2021 Bollywood Parks GCI. To complement these, there's also Capital Bullet Train, Madagascar Mad Pursuit, Mission Ferrari, Predator, Velociraptor, and Turbo Track. 
In my opinion, this is just a really well-rounded lineup and it shows since enthusiasts take coaster trips here somewhat often. Number 10, France. I really wanted to put France higher on this list, but I just couldn't find it in me because they are missing something that is absolutely necessary for a high spot, and that is a good set of top 100 or top 150 worldwide coasters. Really, the best that they currently have is either Mystic, Osiris, Monster, or Alpina Blitz, and the fact that it's debatable isn't really the best look. That said, this does make for a good secondhand lineup, they just really need some standout rides. They will get one in 2023 with Teutautis at Park Asterix, and believe me when I say that that could become one of the best coasters in the world, but it's still only one top-notch coaster for a country as populated, as visited, and as large as France. Anyways, I did want to highlight why they happen to make it so high. With approximately 205 operating roller coasters, France has one of the highest quantities of all the countries in this video. This helps them out considerably, but I just can't see them being any higher on this list because of that lack in quality attractions. Number 9, Spain. One of France's next door neighbors is Spain who has a really great overall collection of coasters. They don't really have many elite coasters unless you want to count Shambhala or Red Force, but they are still standout attractions for sure. Along with that, there's a bunch of extreme coasters that are well spread out in this country, from Abismo at Parque de Atracciones to Furious Baco at Porta Ventura to Superman and Stuntfall at Parque Warner Madrid. I didn't mention everything of course, but this is just a sample to Spain's fantastic lineup that I definitely hope to check out someday. Number 8, Poland. To be honest, I don't think Poland would have even found a spot on this list a decade ago, but wow have they had a turnaround. Since 2014, so many incredible roller coasters have made its way to this wonderful country, such as Zadra, Abyssus, and Hyperion at Energylandia, as well as Let Coaster at Legendia and Wilkolak at Magiland. Several of those rides I just mentioned are literally elite coasters, like some of the best in the world, so while there is a rather small quantity here, that doesn't matter too much to me when you've got a quality like that. Number 7, Netherlands. This is an excellent country to be in for roller coasters, and people know this, yet it still seems to lack any real attention from coaster enthusiasts. Maybe the rides itself sometimes do get attention, but when was the last time you heard a coaster enthusiast say that the Netherlands collection of coasters is so good? Yeah, exactly, and a lot of the countries lower on this list get that kind of attention, so it's really quite strange. The ride lineup is really freaking good though, with rides like Untamed, Goliath, Troy, Phoenix, Lost Gravity, Baron 1898, Gold Rush, and so much more. There is also a fantastic supporting cast of thrilling family family coasters and solid extreme coasters also. Putting these things together, this is a really incredible lineup considering the country's size, so I definitely think the nation deserves more attention than it receives. Number 6, Italy. To be honest, Italy falls in a similar boat as the Netherlands, and by that I mean no one specifically praises Italy for coasters too often. This could be because not a whole lot of enthusiasts get to come here, but regardless, it's an underrated coaster collection and here's why. You've got your standout coasters in Ice Speed, Cartoon, and Shock, as well as your fantastic supporting lineup with Oblivion the Black Hole, Raptor, Senza Viato, and Storm, and the list just goes on. Another strong suit of Italy's is that they have a quantity of 133 coasters, which is significantly better than every other country we've covered so far outside of France and Russia. This lineup just really checks off all the boxes for a perfectly well-rounded coaster lineup, so for that, Italy checks in just outside of the top five. Number 5, United Kingdom. It was really tough deciding between Italy and the UK, but I couldn't really justify Italy being all the way in the top 5. Anyways, between the collection of over 200 roller coasters and amount of quality attractions, it's no wonder why enthusiasts go out of their way to come here. There honestly is a really small amount of elite coasters, but their overall lineup consisting of Nemesis, Smiler, Stealth, Swarm, Icon, and the Ultimate makes up for this by far. I don't really have much more to say about the UK as far as coasters go, but I definitely hope to come here someday in the future to experience some of their fantastic roller coasters. Number 4, Japan. Now we've reached that point in the list where I'd say the following four countries are just flat out elite for their roller coaster collections. Japan's lineup is stupid good guys, there's excellent supporting coasters in all areas of this country, and you don't even want to get me started on the elites. Edge Nika could very well be the world's most extreme roller coaster, Hakuga is one of the best hybrid creations on earth, and Dota Dompa looks ridiculously fast. Behind this outstanding top 3 is some more remarkable coasters that altogether accumulate one of the best roller coaster collections of any country on planet earth. Number 3, Germany. Just a little bit ahead of Japan, Germany's coaster lineup is absolutely outstanding. They have an equally incredible top 3 or 4 in Expedition G-Force, The Shortest Karnan, Tehran, and Colossus. Also like Japan, the lineup of rides here just behind that is remarkable. They have so many fantastic rides in this country, it's just ridiculous. As well as this, take a great quantity and mix it together, you just got yourself a well-deserved top 3 country for roller coasters. Now I know the following two spots are going to spark up quite the debate down in the comment section, and I know a ton of you will disagree with me on this, but coming in at the number two is the United States. It should honestly be a no-brainer to why the US is this high on the list, and I know many of you are probably disappointed with hearing that it's not my number one pick. 
I'll get a bit more into why when we talk about the top spot, but I do want to give America the spotlight for a brief moment. By a somewhat significant margin, I'd say that we have the best selection of elite coasters to choose from. Steel Vengeance, El Toro, Intimidator 305, Iron Gwazi, Skyrush are what some would consider to be some of the world's greatest roller coasters. These rides are just mind-blowing, and a gazillion others that I haven't even mentioned are also outstanding attractions. From the coaster enthusiast in me, I'm so incredibly grateful to live in this country and to have ridden so many amazing rides here. With that being said, I decided to put one country higher on this list, and that country is, drumroll please, China. I know a lot of you are probably pretty upset that I'm putting China at the number one spot, but before you click off the video, let me explain myself. First and foremost, the quality of rides here is a bit worse than America's, that I can agree with, but despite this, the collection is still outstanding and stupidly underrated. I won't be getting into the latter very much, but I did make a video on why Chinese roller coasters are so underrated, so I'd highly encourage you to check that out if you haven't done so already. A link to that video will be down in the description if you want to hear about why. But anyways, the quality here is insane. China has a working relationship with literally every manufacturer but Rocky Mountain Construction, which is a pretty unfortunate loss, but look past that and acknowledge how strong of a relationship they've got with companies like Intamin, Vacoma, B&M, Gravity Group, Mock Rides, and SNS. Here in America, we're lucky to see any new Intamin coaster in a half decade, and don't even get me started on Vacoma. Literally, there are more than 30 roller coasters currently under construction by Intamin and Vacoma collectively in China just for 2021 alone. Yes, you heard that right, 30 roller coasters by them. Also, quantity is important to note here because it may have actually been the dagger to the US in this list. The United States has a total of 834 currently operating roller coasters, which is absolutely incredible. That is the second place winner for most roller coasters in a single country, but you want to know who is in first place? Well, it's China. And I don't even think you want to know how many roller coasters exist here. Excluding the near 100 freaking coasters currently under construction, China has a whopping 1.6 thousand roller coasters in operation. Like, holy sh**, that's a lot. Anyways, I could go on and on about why I think China is worthy of the top spot, but this video would never end if I did, so I hope I did a pretty good job at convincing you with what I did say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a ridiculous amount of time and effort to create, so I would really appreciate it if you considered subscribing to the channel, and as well as that, liking the video and leaving a comment. The support really does mean a lot, and I'm very grateful for all of you who choose to do so. Thanks again for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.